My name is Adlaw Maigala. My name is James B. And I'm David Abelia. Welcome to another episode of Film Hive. We are here again at the University of Mindanao for our new film forum which is called Fostering Peace Through Cinema and Sports. This is in line with the Mindanao Week of Peace. And we also have three special guests that we're going to interview today in this segment. So, I hope you stay. So we're now with former DILG Secretary Rafi Alunan. Sir, how was your stay here in Davao? Oh, excellent. Uh, you know, I, I always enjoy my stay in Davao because I always have the opportunity to walk the streets. Uh, whenever I go to a place uh, outside of my hometown, uh, I, I love to explore the streets and, and feel the city, you know, uh, mingle with the people and uh, get the sense of uh, what's going on. Sir, what can you say about the Peace Forum that happened just earlier today? I think it's very good that uh, we uh, have fora like this uh, to uh, talk about peace because uh, we, con we have to continue to educate ourselves about what it needs, what we need to do to uh, attain peace. Uh, we, we, there will always be new people who are new to the concept uh, that we have to uh, uh, indoctrinate, that we have to mentor. Uh, students, we have to start with the students. Later on, uh, when the students become adults, they too will uh, turn into mentors and uh, uh, we'll have to educate the youth. So it's a never-ending process. And uh, so I commend the organizers who put this together and uh, uh, who chose the topic that uh, is quite unique, uh, using film. Uh, as well as sports to promote peace. Okay, uh, sir, last question. You mentioned earlier about uh, the Marcos Burial, so it has been an issue, quite an issue lately for the country. Yes. So what, uh, what can you say to the viewers out there about your stand or your opinions about the Marcos Burial in Libingan Mga Bayani? Well, as, uh, as you know, uh, during the time of President uh, Ramos, I was the one who negotiated with Imelda Marcos on the return of the remains of uh, the former president. And uh, the position of the Ramos administration then that I conveyed to the uh, Marcos family was this. Uh, yes, uh, the president is entitled to return back to the Philippines. Uh, but he will be flown directly to Ilocos Norte, which is uh, where he comes from. Uh, we will not allow uh, the remains of the president to be paraded around Metro Manila because the wounds of martial law are still very fresh and uh, we were very scared that uh, that act of moving him around Metro Manila would lead to bloodshed. So we barred the, uh, that part of their scheme to uh, bring him around. Third was that, uh, yes, we, uh, we agreed that uh, he had to be buried and that he would be buried in Batak, Ilocos Norte. And that number four, he would receive the honors uh, fit for uh, a, uh, an army major because that was his last rank in the uh, armed forces. So uh, for about a month we negotiated that. Eventually those points were incorporated in a memorandum of understanding uh, that both Imelda Marcos and I signed. Unfortunately after we both signed it she managed to grab the copy and then she crossed out the words buried in Batap and replaced it with the terms temporarily interred, uh, which we considered uh, a sign of bad faith because she didn't tell anybody about it. Um, and, and so we did not notarize the memorandum of understanding. But notwithstanding the fact that uh, there was that sign of uh, bad faith on her part, uh, I must commend the fa Marcos family for sticking uh, to the uh, uh, provisions of the Memorandum of Understanding. Uh, they did not do anything to go against it until the end of Ramos' term and until November 17, 2016. So uh, I can say that the Memorandum of Understanding that uh, she and I signed uh, were sustained for, oh, I'd say about 30 years. And that's to the credit of the Marcos family. Now, the reason why the burial took place in the Libingan ng Bayani was because I know that this was a campaign promised by uh, President Digong. But uh, on, above, above and apart from his campaign promise is, the, is his intent. His intent to close the uh, chapter on martial law 
to unify the people so that we can move on and address bigger problems affecting the country. Uh, unfortunately, there was a miscalculation that in that uh, the wounds would have healed already by then, after 30 years. Apparently, it has not. And uh, the divisions are, are as bad as uh, ever. Uh, the society is still polarized. And that's something that needs to be addressed. When the Supreme Court asked me to shed light on the Memorandum of Understanding, subsequently they asked me also to write uh, my subsequent uh, views uh, after the Supreme Court hearings. I said, the best way out that I can offer to President Digong, uh, while still maintaining good faith with the Marcoses, is uh, to create a libingan ng mga pangulo. Uh, where all presidents, regardless of whether they were viewed by society as villains or heroes, you know, uh, would be buried because that's where they're, they're entitled, be, being presidents, to be buried in a place like that. And that's the only way to avoid a never-ending debate as to whether President Marcos was a hero or not. You know? uh, now, that's something that still probably has to be processed by President Digong himself. But uh, it's better late than never. Uh, it's still something that he can uh, do without hurting the feelings of the Marcos family. And that's a very good compromise, a way out. Lights on or lights off? Lights on. Sex or chocolates? Sex. Inside or outside? Inside. Inside. So that was it guys, that was Rafia Lunan, former DLG secretary. Thank you, Paul, sir, for your time. I'm just being consistent about indoor sports. <laughs> <laughs> Hot na hot na issue ngayon yung pagkakalibing ni President Marcos sa libingan ng mga bayani. So, hashtag not a hero or hashtag a hero? Hashtag not a hero or hashtag a hero? Hashtag a hero. Bakit naman? Uh, dili mang siguro basihan ang mga failures niya nga uh, dili mga mo against ang mga tao nga not a hero siya. Uh, hashtag not a hero. Not a hero. Ano man? Uh, uh, go on. Wala niya na bot ang responsibilities nga dapat buhaton sa president. Hashtag a hero. Hashtag not a hero. Hashtag not a hero. Why man? Because Marcos is not a hero. <laughs> okay, just uh, wow. Just straightforward. Anyways. Sige, Margaret. Hero. Why? It is his right as a president. Okay, so what about you? Uh, hashtag hero. Why? Well, uh, I'm not gonna talk about one politician, uh, not naming names, but uh, everyone, uh, like like the other one said, he has a point that everyone has uh, has has the right or has the capability to, uh, of becoming here to become a hero, because it 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 doesn't need to uh, you don't need to have to just have uh, uh, the physical physical formation to be a hero. You also need the heart and the the head. So everyone can be that. So yeah. So. Hashtag not a hero or hashtag a hero? Hashtag a hero. Bakit naman? He is a soldier and everything. So he served as, uh, he fought for the country. So that's why it makes him, what. Uh, that's what makes him a hero. A hero, hashtag a hero. Bakit naman? Man, marami siyang nagawang mali. Hindi lang naman natin siya masisisi kasi marami ding mga tao na nakapaligid, nakapaligid sa kanya na maaaring nag nagbigay ng masamang influensya sa kanya kung bakit may mga pagkakamali siyang nagawa. So, kung inilibing man siya ngayon sa baya, ah, libingan ng mga bayan eh, there's no big deal. Kasi naging presidente pa rin siya at mas mataas pa yung serbisyo na ibinigay niya sa mga Pilipino. Hashtag a hero. Hashtag not a hero. Bakit naman? Eh kasi nga, ba? grabe yung bigay niya sa Philippines na um, yung parang bigay niya na kalawang dito sa Pilipinas kasi nga sa nangyari na martial law, which is grabe talaga ang daming mga soldiers daw na hindi pa nakikita. At ano, ang daming mga kabataan ngayon na nagsasabi na ano, yung akala nila na Alam na alam talaga nilang yung history ng Marcos. Eh wala naman talaga silang alam totally. Which is for me lang, sa bas ano lang, para sa akin, not a hero. Yun lang. Hashtag hero! Hero! Oh, iba siya naman, hero. Kasi based on sa review ko, uh, sa mga binabasa ko sa 
YouTube or napanood ko. Marami siyang foundation na naging mas mag, na, na maganda yung Pilipinas before. Marami siyang na-contribute na hindi lang talaga nakikita ng mga iba pang mamaya ng Pilipino. So, hashtag hero. Go, uh, pro ako sa pagkalibing sa kanya sa libingan ng mga bayan. To be honest, I just don't really care about that. But, um, hashtag not a hero first. Um, after hearing after hearing the our professor Maslog last last seminar, um, he opened our eyes about what really happened in that time. So we're now with Mr. Dan Palami, the Astros manager. Sir, how was your stay here in Davao? Oh, very pleasant. Uh, unknown to many, uh, back in 2010 when we were preparing for the Suzuki Cup. We were actually staying here in Davao. We did our last training camp just before going to Laos, where we were quite successful to go to the uh, group stages and finally to the semifinals. So we owe a lot to Davao, they ask us. So, and we are happy to be back. So uh, what can you say about the Forum for Peace in line with the cinema and sports book, Anina? It is very enlightening. I learned a lot from the speakers as well. And uh, I'm quite happy that uh, there, is, there has been an initiative to do this kind of work, to do this kind of activity. So I hope uh, the young people who were there uh, were also enlightened and would also do their share in uh, building peace for Mindanao and for the country. So we're now with Mr. Leo Martinez, the Director General of the Film Academy of the Philippines. Sir, uh, how was your stay here in Davao? Well, very fruitful, at least the uh, yung, yung conference, the peace conference, I mean on uh, peace through sports and uh, culture. Madaming, uh, madaming, uh, palagay ko madami akong natutuhan din about the, about the uh, peace process. At saka, I feel yung mga sinasuggest kong programs for the Film Academy Mindanao, which is doon po sa amin, yung pride in our country. And then yung uh, advocacy cinema, learning how to do um, cinema for, for transformation at saka for, for the community. And then also the um, Cine Wikain, parang may contest for, ano, for the proverbs, um, Philippine proverbs, which is values oriented. So I think they, uh, madaming nagsabi na interesado sila dun sa tatlong programa na yun. So fast questions lang, inside or outside? Outside. Outside. Uh, lights on, lights off. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on or lights off? Lights off. Lights on. Lights on. <laughs> uh, in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's like the first guy to say this. Lights on or lights off? Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. <laughs> lights on sila guys. Last question. Inside or outside? Of course, inside. Outside. <laughs> lights on, lights off. Lights on. Adim. <laughs> Lights on! Lights on! Oh, not a hero. Not a hero. Not a hero. Inside, outside? Outside. Outside. Lights on, lights off? Lights off. <laughs> uh, hashtag not a hero or hashtag a hero? Hashtag not a hero. Hashtag a hero for ask us. Um, in lights on, lights off? <laughs> Either way is fine. <laughs> Inside, outside? Inside, of course. Goal! <laughs>